32 year old Gary Myers, otherwise called Speedy Bike of Fairfield Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, has been missing since Saturday, July 23. He is of a dark complexion, medium built, about 5 feet 7 inches tall. Reports from the Spanish Town police are that Myers was last seen leaving home about 1 p.m. At the time, he was wearing a blue and white t-shirt, blue and white shorts and a pair of black slippers. All efforts to contact him have been proven futile. Anyone having any information about the whereabouts about Gary Myers is asked to contact the Spanish Town Police at 876-984-2305 or Police Emergency 119. Yeah man, may I tell you, make we keep the same energy. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. Let us not take life for granted this morning because many is no longer amongst the land of the living. Courtesy of the old dirty kind of boy them. Yeah, man, me I tell you. So the parish of Clarendon has made the news again where four people get can up me I tell you and two end up spread out like a sheet no longer amongst the land of the living the old dirty can of boy them at it again and a move bilious so right now two persons are no longer amongst the land of the living as I said earlier and four others are nursing a portion to can up can up wounds following a series of gun attacks in Hayes Clarendon last night so among the one that perish is also a 16 year old boy the individuals were reportedly standing along the roadway when they were all attacked by the old criminal elements them the head of the clarendon police senior superintendent glenford miller has just provided an update into the recent spate of violence so we're going to hear from the senior superintendent in charge of clarendon listen to our one some persons were playing dominion in the shop when a vehicle drove up, men opened gunfire at them. Six persons were shot, two were fatal, and four persons were injured. They were also going to the hospital where they actually received treatment. Persons are admitted at the hospital. Yes, that is a fact. One of the victims is a 16-year-old boy. The police are saying that they have been unable to establish any firm leads in the matter so far. However, it is believed that the intended target of the gun attack managed to escape. SSP Miller is saying that the Hayes community is not one usually affected by this type of violence. He's appealing for the public's assistance in providing the necessary information. Listen. Um, what we're also looking at, um, we're appealing to persons who would have actually, persons can help us with this investigation to actually come forward and support us in this investigation to see if we can bring this to a closure. This community, for the longest while, has never seen any acts of violence. So this is not one of the areas that we'd have um, any great concentration in. So if this was something that we'd have expected or necessary would have been put in place to actually advert such situation. This is just a gruesome act and show the callousness of um, these um, criminals. But we'll continue to partner with the communities to see if we can actually definitely bring this crime to a closure. That was the voice of Senior Superintendent of Police, Glenford Miller, head of the Clarendon Police. The deceased has been since identified as a 40-year-old laborer that goes by the name of Christopher Romani 
otherwise called Lucky, and also a 16-year-old student whose birth name is Damario Gibson, both of Hayes Clarendon. Both were standing along the roadway with a group of men when they were all ambushed by the old dirty corner boy them traveling in a silver Toyota Axio motor car who drove up, alighted from the car and just start spray them with can me tell them my peeps, be a people start drop, be a people are run up and down and after which they were all transported to the hospital where it is said that Romani and Gibson were pronounced you know what upon arrival. A really sad state of affairs over there in Clarendon. So most definitely condolences to the bereaved family. But on the spot news media will definitely be doing its own digging to see what we can uncover from that brutal onslaught in Clarendon. So my peeps over there in the parish of Manchester a portion of things go on, may I tell you. Series of knockings and clappings. Again, Manchester has been making the news in a whole heap of things since of lately. So the police are probing the knockings and clappings of a dancehall artist in Russell's place, Manchester. All of that take place this morning early. He has so far been identified as Elegance God, a St. Elizabeth-based entertainer. Shane McCullough, head of the Manchester Police, has confirmed that the entertainer was in his motor car when he was brutally gunned down. Further reports suggest that a woman who was also in the vehicle was not harmed. Police theorize that this knockings and clappings is linked to illicit activities over there in the crime prone and now troubled parish of St. Elizabeth. The entertainer was pronounced, you know what, at the hospital. So boy, I tell you, country badness. Up. Yeah, man. So watch this now, my peeps. Who remember in the last year when time some boy going at Jojo's supermarket and got dirt some Chinese people? Boy, I tell you, say, that was one of the most horrific things we have ever seen. It sent shockwaves right through the St. Elizabeth Police Division. Now on your screen is the old dirty corner boy that was wanted in connection for that knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of the two Chinese business personnel. His name is Tommy Thompson. No, he was listed as wanted in the connection with last December's loss of life of the Chinese couple in Bellevue near Southfield in St. Elizabeth. He was taken out last night during a confrontation with the police. A senior police source stated that Tommy Thompson was taken out during an alleged confrontation with the police in Bloomsbury District in the Newmarket Police Area about 10.40 p.m. after he allegedly attacked a member of the force with a machete and of course he was taken out by that squad yeah man you can't bring machete come a gun wire brother that naga work also in march tommy thompson managed to elude the police in a brazen knockings and clappings incident over there in the alan bamboo area of saint elizabeth yeah man may i tell you so tommy thompson was being sought by the police following the double loss of life after the two gunmen were caught on a close circuit camera posing as customers at jojo supermarket before taking the life of the two chinese business personnel all of that took place in bellevue district so good readings to the old dirty kind of boy up on the screen tommy thompson so moving right along now, my peeps, over there in the second capital, me are telling you, my peeps, Mobile are definitely one of the most cursed places you can ever think about. The parish of St. James, definitely cursed with all of the obia walking where them are going with over there, all of the scamming, all of the sacrificial business where them are going, live sacrifices, and all of the human sacrifices who are going over that parish there. Remember me tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, man, St. James, curse. Who no say say over that parish there, when an accident attack the people in life, a gunman has slapped them with left, right, and center. But by whatever means necessary, 
Somebody always have to lose them three pints. Ghana shut our country land and no longer amongst the land of the living. So Monday, a little upcoming entertainer get cornered and slaughtered in the Mount CLM Zozo area. So the police are now probing the loss of life of a young entertainer who get can up, lose him three pints, no longer amongst the land of the living, in the Mount Salem zones of special operation in Mobile St. James, Monday afternoon. The deceased has since been identified as this man on the screen right now, 37-year-old Jermaine Garden, also called Javibes, who was of a Barnet View Mount Salem address. So reports from the police is that about 1.30 p.m. residents heard a portion Takana beating at the place and called the police for assistance. So upon the arrival of the police, the police saw a garden suffering from a whole heap of can up, can up wounds. The injured man was transported by the police to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced you know what upon arrival. So breaking news coming out of the parish of Clarendon right now, my peeps, an unidentified man get a portion to can to him skin in a reported confrontation with the police in an era called Rock River in Clarendon. The police are saying that they were carrying out operations about 6 o'clock when the suspected man allegedly engaged them in a knockings and clappings. Of course, he was neutralized. Take note, Sengana Shotai Kunchulan, no longer amongst the land of the living and an illegal strap taken from his person. So good riddance and a decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Yeah man, may I tell you, Jamaica, the thing no look bossy, the thing no look good, none at all. Right now to me see it right now, no. The younger youth them in a Jamaica is becoming an endangered species. You see from ages ranges between 16 to 25. That age you're not safe none at all, brother. That age there are the age group that where the little youth them are get slapped with left, right and centre. Send Ghana shut eye country land. No longer amongst the land that they live in. The youth them never get fit enjoy the feminine gender they never get to enjoy what life is really like they never get a chance to become a father boy me i tell you them, my peeps they think they look good for your country none at all man because when you have the younger generation i get slapped with left right and center so what is going to become of our nation when the young generation now live long enough to grow up to come carry on our tradition and help to make this country better the thing look how you done a John shop the boy. But anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.